let's start by boiling the eggs i'll boil this eggs between 10 to 15 minutes we need a hard boiled egg for this so i allow this egg for 15 minutes to get it well cooked on the inside i will transfer it into very shield water it's very easy to peel the eggs when you put it straight from the pot to very cold water you wouldn't be struggling with the shell it's coming out by itself just like so i've peeled all the eggs please make sure there is no shell on any of it so that no one will be chewing on the shell with your egg roll. I'll sift in the flour. This is three cups of flour. And it's all purpose flour. I'll sift in quarter teaspoon of nutmeg powder. This will give me some flavor. One teaspoon of baking powder, one teaspoon of salt, three tablespoons of sugar. You can add more if you want it extra sweet. Two tablespoons of powdered milk. You can also use liquid milk. I'll mix all this in to combine properly. I'll add in soft butter. This is about 80 grams. I'll mix in the butter with the flour and dry ingredients. It's all well incorporated now. I'll crack in one egg. I could have as well cracked it into the bowl, but I don't want any of its shell in there. That's why I'm cracking it in a separate bowl. And I'll whisk it in. I'll part open this and pour in the egg. I'll add in one teaspoon of vanilla flavor. You can add any flavor to give you the flavor you want. And I'll start mixing this together. I also have water here. I'll add it in gently. Remember, if you're using the liquid milk, that will take the place of water for you. Add the water gently so that you don't overdo it. You keep mixing it till it all comes together. This snack is actually very simple and everyone will enjoy it. It's hard for me to continue using the spatula Then I'll come in with my clean hands. I'll bring it all together. Please note that all the ingredients I used, they are all at room temperature. This is already smelling very nice. The mixture of the vanilla flavor with the nutmeg powder. Now it's well mixed. It's not sticking to my finger. I'll just roll it into a bowl for about a minute. We are not needing this. And here we are. Now place it back into the bowl. I will cover this with a fin for 10 minutes to rest. We are covering it so that it doesn't lose moisture. Get back to it in 10 minutes. This is 10 minutes later. Our dough has rested enough. I will need this for a minute. Like I said earlier, you don't need to over knead this. Just bring it together. 
I'll bring in the dough to my work surface. Then I'll divide it. I'll divide it to the number of egg rolls I'm making. Apply your work surface, place in the dough and spread it out with the heel of your palm. Gently lift it up, add in one egg and close it up. If there is any excess, you remove it. There is none, roll it with your palm so that it doesn't burst in the oil. That all ready, let's go and fry. This requires a deep pan so that the oil wouldn't be splashing out. Now I'll add an oil, vegetable oil. I'll check with my skewer to know if the oil is ready. If I see bubbles coming up like this, that means it's ready. We'll be frying this on medium heat. If your oil is too hot, it will burn easily without cooking on the inside. You have to fry on medium heat. If your oil is not hot enough, it will soak up oil. We'll fry this for 5 minutes on both sides. Please keep an eye on it so that it doesn't burn. I'll bring it out in my ready serviette paper when it's golden brown. at this our egg rolls are ready and it looks so nice and it tastes so good what do you think about this recipe will you be trying it please subscribe to my channel if you've not done so Please also like and share my videos. Thank you for watching and see you in my next video.